When you work at Microsoft, you have the opportunity of a lot of learning and you have the opportunity of doing something we have never done before, like sustainability. We are at a critical time where we really, as humans, need to bring the best we have to solve perhaps one of the most critical problems that we have ahead. AI for Earth came from Microsoft Sustainability. We introduced a carbon fee in 2012, and each business unit pays this carbon fee based on their consumption of energy. So what this allows us to do is that we have a fund that we can put money in innovation for the environment. The digital revolution is about information. And if you think about it, the information that we have about Earth systems it's really not enough. We want to bring technology to start digitizing what we know about our Earth systems and bring perhaps our best tool, which is technology and artificial intelligence, to help us resolve that problem. Our goals with the AI for Earth initiative is that we want to democratize the access to cloud and AI technologies. So AI for Earth is available for all kinds of organizations. We have four opportunities a year to apply for a grant. What we require is that organizations provide a proposal of what is the environmental problem that they want to solve and how do they plan to use artificial intelligence to solve it. AI cannot exist without data. Actually, we are at a point in which there is the inflection of three major technologies. We have Big Compute, which is the cloud that allows us to have infinite capacity to process an infinite amount of data. And we have modern algorithms, which is artificial intelligence. So the inflection of these three points, Big Compute, Big Data, and Artificial Intelligence, is what makes artificial intelligence a reality today. AI is now being used to help us track animals and species and understand the health of ecosystems. How do they move? Where do they go? How long do they live? This kind of information has not existed before. We can use technology to help us identify exactly the amount of water that is required to grow healthy plants, for example. We can also understand where water comes from and when this resource will no longer be available. We have now sensors that can allow us to understand the soil needs better. We can move to precision and data-driven agriculture, where we are just using the resources needed to maximize the yield of production. We also can take advantage of satellite imagery. Right now we have the technological innovation that is helping us transform industry. We need to transform how we understand nature and how we understand Earth ecosystems. I want to ensure that we have the impact, that the projects that we work with are actually delivering the impact that they promise. We have done ideation workshops where we bring multidisciplinary teams, where we have people from government, people from universities, academy, startups, and when you put a multidisciplinary team working together, they start ideating. And the governments, for example, can provide direction on what are the problems that have priority that need to be solved. Academy can use their knowledge in science, while startups can make that a reality. People want to work in something that matters, and what matters more than help us resolve the environmental challenges that we have. I think that we have a great responsibility and a great opportunity to bring the same technologies that have made our economy better for the environment. We are never late. We really need to get this right.